Hello everyone and welcome to the QQ Catalyst Intermediate Marketing class. In this class we will review uploading images as well as creating and editing templates. The screen you are currently viewing is called the dashboard. The marketing section of QQ Catalyst is located on the global navigation toolbar which follows you throughout QQ Catalyst. The first section that we are going to cover is the images library. The Images Library contains all of the image files that have been uploaded to your agency so that they can be inserted into marketing templates. In the Images Library, you have the ability to drag and drop images or select images to add to your Images Library. If you want to select an image from your computer, using your mouse, select the green Select Images button. This will bring you to the open dialog box where you can select images located on your computer. You also have the ability to drag and drop an image from your desktop onto the images library. I will go ahead and minimize my screen so that I can select an image from the desktop to drag. When you have an image selected, you can drop the image anywhere on your QQ Catalyst screen. Once the image has been uploaded, it is ready to be saved in the system. Once your image has been selected or dropped, you will need to select Continue to upload the image into the Images Library. After the upload has completed, you can select Next to edit the name of the image, enter a description, or a link. If you do not wish to enter or edit the name, description, or link, you can select Finish at the bottom of the page to save your image. I went ahead and selected Next. You will notice a preview of the image that was uploaded on the left-hand side and on the right hand side you can edit the name in the name field. In the description and notes section you can type any description or notes that you think is necessary. If you uploaded multiple images you can type one description and apply it to all the images in the batch by selecting this box right here. If you'd like to add a link to your images you can add it in the link field. Once you have completed all the fields, select the Finish button. You will see that the image has been added. You have the ability to search through all of the images in your images library by using the search box. You will notice that as you start to type, Catalyst will start to search your images. You can sort the images by the columns listed. Name, Date Added, Type, Added By, and Description and Notes. You can view the images in ascending or descending order by simply selecting the column headers. You can view your images in list view, grid view, which gives you a thumbnail preview, or in carousel view. Keep in mind that in your location preferences, you can set your default view. Now, let's review how we create a letter template. I'm going to navigate to the marketing menu and select the templates library. The templates library is where all of your marketing templates are located. The templates will be listed based on agency location. If you have multiple locations, they will display within this drop-down. By default, when you enter the templates library, you will see all templates. However, you can view and search by the standard library or by the agency library. To create a template, on the dark gray toolbar, we are going to select Add New Template. Next, you will need to select a layout. Within the Template Builder, you have a workflow. You can navigate through the workflow by selecting the tabs at the top, the page arrows, or the Previous and Next button at the bottom of the page. Right below the workflow, you will find the template category as well as the template data sources. In order to create a template, you will need to select from the template category and data sources. Category is used to determine who this template or letter is going to target. The data sources change based on the category that you have selected. Customer, Carrier, MGA, Employees, Prospects, and Finance Companies. Data sources will determine which columns will be available to create the merge fields within the letter. I'm going to select Customer Information and Policy Information. After you've selected the data sources, you can then move on to the next tab, which is Edit Template. Within this section, you will be able to create your letter template. In the editor, you can enter any text you wish. 
You can also use the editor's formatting options to select a font, font size, or color. When you are creating your own template, you have the ability to insert merge fields. Merge fields are placeholders that will pre-populate information once you send out the letter. To insert merge fields, select the Insert Items tab on the left-hand side of the screen. This will open the Insert Items menu. The Insert Items menu is divided into three sections, Fields, Images, and System. In the Fields tab, you will see all of the merge fields available based on the data sources that were selected on the previous screen. You can use the search bar to navigate through your list. You can also use the search box to enter a keyword to narrow your search. I will use the keyword name. You will see that the system pulled all merge fields available using that keyword. In my template, I want to address my customer by name, so I will insert customer first name and customer last name merge field by using my mouse to click on that field. If I wanted to remove the merge field from my template, I can go ahead and use my backspace button on my keyboard to delete it. The Images tab allows you to insert images from your images library into your template. In order to add an image, click the image to place into your template. If you need to adjust the size, double click the image to open the image properties. You can then adjust the width and the height of the image using these fields here. The System tab has additional merge fields available for you to use. We have placeholders for your logo and for your signature. The placeholder will merge your logo and signature that is entered into the location preferences. For your logo, either the high resolution or low resolution logo will be merged depending on your letter output, either print or email. Items under the current employee will merge the fields based on the user that is using or sending the letter. Once you have completed your letter template, select the Next button on the bottom right hand corner. This will bring you to the Save Template tab. In the Name field, you can name your template. In the Description field, you can enter any descriptions that are necessary. The Types section is the category where your template will be saved in your agency library. You can select one or multiple. Lastly, select the location or locations that you would like to have access the, to the template. Then, select Save on the bottom right hand corner to complete the save of your template. After you've created a template, you can edit the template if you need to make any changes. To edit your template, you need to hover over the template name and click your left mouse button to display the drop-down menu. Select Edit to enter the template workflow and make any necessary changes. You can also duplicate a template by selecting the Duplicate option. You can also delete the template that you've created by selecting Delete. You'll receive a warning message to confirm that you want to delete your template. Once you select Yes, this action cannot be undone. I have an example of a template that I created. As you can see, this template uses multiple customer and policy merge fields as well as location merge fields. Next, I want to go ahead and use this template to send an email to the customer. In the customer overview on the dark gray toolbar, you have the print email button. To send this customer an email, select Quick Send. In the Quick Send feature, you can select the email address you are sending the email from if you have multiple email addresses that are assigned to you. You can enter a subject. Then, you can go ahead and select a template from the Templates drop-down box. I went ahead and selected the template that we were working on earlier. And as you can see, the merge fields, which are highlighted in yellow, have been populated with the customer's information. If you needed to add an attachment, you can go ahead and do so by using the Add Attachment button here on the left-hand side. When you're ready to send the email to the customer, you can go ahead and select the Send button. Keep in mind that a copy of this email will be retained in the customer's files for you to reference at any point in the future. Next, we are going to print a letter to mail to a customer. 
In the customer overview, on the dark gray toolbar, I have the print email button. If I wanted to mail the customer a letter, I can go ahead and select the print email option. <coughs> because I was on the customer overview instead of the policy overview, I can then associate a letter to a policy. I will go ahead and select this homeowner's policy, then select next at the bottom right hand side of the screen. If I wanted to skip this step, I can go ahead and select the skip button. Next, you will see your templates list from your templates library. Select the template that you would like to use and select next at the bottom right hand side of the screen. The next step in the workflow is the document editor. Here you will see your merge fields populated and if any additional edits are needed before the letter is printed, you can make them now. Select next to choose the delivery option. In the document description section, go ahead and enter a title for your letter. If any notes are necessary, you can go ahead and enter them here. And then you'll select your delivery option. You can email this document, print this document, or save the document. We're going to go ahead and select print. Then select finish at the bottom right hand corner of your page. Your letter will then display for you to print in a separate tab. Hover your mouse toward the bottom right hand side of the screen to select the print option. Just like with the email option, this letter will be saved in the customer's file for you to reference or print at any point in the future. This concludes our marketing class. In this class, we reviewed uploading images as well as creating and editing templates. The next marketing class will cover the bulk email and print feature in QQ Catalyst. Thank you for attending.